Hello everyone, it's Richard here. Okay, so I'm back with a bit of an update of what's been going on for the last few months. I haven't posted any videos or blogs for about two months now during the summer. I hope you had a really good summer and uh, mine was very busy with 3D printing. So my lack of posting on YouTube and my blog has not been down to the fact that I haven't been doing 3D printing. In fact, I've been doing a hell of a lot of it. Um, so this is just a bit of a video to get you back up to speed on what I've been up to and what I've got to show you over the next weeks and months. So my main project over the summer was to work on a training program for 3D printing, uh, specifically Simplify 3D and using a slicer. And this was a little bit different to other training programs I've done and books and various things I've had contrib contributions to because this was for O'Reilly Media Infinite Skills and that's a screencast training. So it's something I've not done before but I've always wanted to try out. So I was really excited to get started on this and I decided that one of the big areas that I get asked so many questions about 3D printing is basically in the slicer and the slicing settings you use to transfer tra a transform a 3D model into code, G-code, that you can use on your 3D printer. And that requires quite a bit of setup of your 3D printer as well as setup of the slicing settings, the manufacturing profiles, and pretty much everything that controls whether or not you're actually going to have a successful print or not. So my main focus for this training course for O'Reilly Media was to focus on a slicer and I had decided it needed to be Simplify 3D because I've been using it for the last 18 months and I really do use it all the time now. I, I use some of the open source, still use Slicer, and still use Cura occasionally but when I really want to just get on with trying something out that's new or knowing that I will get a really good solid print I'll use Simplify 3D. So I focused that on the training course but all of the advice and tips and training that I've got in the video and the video in the course series are really relevant to any slicer you would use. So the screencasting was really interesting. Now even in this video I'm winging it, I'm talking but you can't do that in a screencast. You have to plan out exactly the lesson what you're trying to achieve, what you're going to say, because you can't have any ums and ahs and this was a mistake, I'm sorry, I'll do that again. It all has to run fairly smoothly or you have to retake it and do it again. And that's quite a bit of discipline and an enormous amount of effort and time. So it really has been a dedicated focus of my time. Um, for more than two months I started this sort of before I was finishing videos to, towards the start of the summer. But it's been a really, really good process and everyone at O'Reilly Media has been fantastic. All the editors, uh, all of the people that have been involved in the project have been really, really wonderful to, uh, to work with. So I'm really grateful that it's finished, it's now been published and you can get access to it. And it's also a way of supporting me. I, I don't enable advertising or monetization on my YouTube or my blog. And that's because I don't really like that sort of thing with advertising and sponsorships. So this is a way I've, that I've done something for the community but you can also reward me if you like or you can thank me for my contributions to 3D printing by being, being a part of uh, the training course and subscribing up with O'Reilly Media and hopefully if you think that my training style works for you there's a few first few lessons on there that you can actually see whether it's something you might enjoy and might get some benefit from and if you do then you can buy the course it's not very expensive and you can hopefully learn a little bit from it as well so if you want to thank me for anything um, please buy my course it'd be really good and I'd love to do more of them as well so I'm really getting into it now and the screencasting I'll probably do more of it uh, YouTube style but also hopefully more for O'Reilly Media and the Infinite Skills so I'll leave some links down below and I hope you found this uh, interesting, at least it's a bit of an update on what I've been doing during the summer. I hope you're all getting on really well with 3D printing and doing lots of cool things. I've got loads of projects that I've been doing as well in the background, loads of new things to update you with, loads of new products uh, that I've been trying out for various customers uh, and manufacturers and just really loads more to tell you and some good projects with my daughters as well which has been very very good fun so i shall be back very soon with another update and uh thank you very much for listening <laughs>